Hi everyone, so today we've got another fairly easy tutorial with just items that you'll have lying around your craft, craft room. Okay, decoration and stuff is entirely up to you, but I'll show you some various um, designs here that use all sorts of um, extra bits. So, um, first of all, we're using two six inch square cards, so 15 centimeter cards, and we're using two stuck together. So here's our lovely um, card with dimension. It stands up beautifully and yet goes flat into an envelope. Okay, so there's one design. This one is using pretty papers um, throughout and then just adding some little bits of decoupage that I had left over. So that would make a lovely sympathy card and again stands up beautifully um, to display it. So I've got one extra um, design that I'll show you at the end that goes a little bit further. But let's have a look at the basic card first. So first of all, we take two six inch cards. Okay, now I've already dealt with one to save time. Okay, I've had to switch the air conditioning off. Um, so I'm hoping it doesn't get too hot in here. Okay, so what we're going to do is both cards we're going to treat exactly the same. So we're going to score this at two and a half centimetres. As usual, all the measurements will appear up in the top corner. Five centimetres, 10 centimetres. Now, it's already folded in half on this bit, but not all cards are exactly um, six inches. So I'm going to go down the 15 centimetre line. And I'm going to fold that over and you'll see that there is a fraction of an inch here where it doesn't meet. But we, we want to work with that. So I've already prepared a second one exactly the same. Okay, So put those to one side. Now I'm going to take this one. I want the texture that I've got facing backwards. So I'm going to fold along the first one, fold in on the second one, and fold on that one. Okay, so we have a zigzag on that side. I'm going to take the next one. And I'm going to do exactly the same on this one. It is so quick and easy. Right, now we need to get these two stuck together so that the zigzags are opposite sides. Okay, now you will probably struggle to get that all lined up, but there's an easy way. Okay, so press the two together. If you want to, you can clip it on the top. But I'm going to take this one and let me slide that clip over. The loose bit here, you can add wet glue. I'm using hot glue to be quick. Just under that corner. So move the clip along. And then this bit is free. There. I haven't had to try and line up everything. It's all done ready. Right, there is my card base ready to go. Right, I'm going to be decorating with some of these decoupage pieces of wild bears and things. 
turn that one around. So there we go. All right, so I've got an assortment. I've chosen some papers that will go with them, and I want to choose my I choose that for my backing paper, and I'm going to cut it 14 and a half centimeter. Sorry, four cent. 14 centimetres square. So let's just check. It's 14 by 14. Right. I'll probably use my other um trimmer in a minute because it, it's a bit larger um, scale on it. So I'm going to take my paper now and I'm going to mat it onto gold. This is a pretty, pretty paper as well. It's a shame to cover this side, but it's okay. So 14, right, so 14 centimeter square and I'm matting it onto this piece of gold. I've already made a mess of it, so I'm going to cover that over. So my mat here is 14 and a half. Okay, so this is just a spare bit that I had, so I'm going to cut that. So it happened to be quite a good, good piece. Right, so we're going to place that now onto there. If you're worried about positioning, use wet glue because you've got wiggle room. But if you're using double-sided tape, you can always just peel back the corners and then you can play around with it. When you're happy with it, just stick those pieces that you've peeled back and then you can take that and it'll all go down exactly where you want it. Okay, so there's the back in place. Now we're going to look at these panels here. Now, these panels are five centimetre panels by 15. So we're going to cut our panels to go on here 14 uh, 14 centimeters long four centimeters wide and I'm going to use this one here so we're going to go 14 centimeters long that's actually 14 and we're going to do a piece four centimeters wide and we're going to cut another piece four centimeters wide so those are my two panels that are going to go on there and we're going to cut a mat so let's see what this measures we want 14 and a half long And we want four and a half wide. So measurements up in the top corner, you don't have to remember them. Let's put this aside for the moment because we're going to need that. And we're going to fit these. On. Now, the same applies with this. If you're worried about positioning, just turn a little bit back. Play with your positioning on there. Check it all the way around. And then when you're ready, pull out the side tabs. Okay, there's one. When you're working with such small margins, 
find your, oh, what suits you to make it easy. So fold back. Doesn't matter which way up it is at the moment. Okay, so that's going to go on one side and now I'll get them facing the right way because this is directional. And we're going to fit this on. And then we need to do a little bit more to it before we go any further. Okay. So I'm trying to keep a little bit of white around to frame it as well, because it all adds to the design. Is our card starting to come together. Now the next bit we've got these small panels so we're going to cut two pieces 14 centimeters by one and a half. Okay. So I'm going to use this one I think. No I'm going to go back to this one. one and a half so I'm going to cut it at three because I want two pieces one and a half take a bit of time with the small pieces they're more difficult to hold. Right. Now I want a mat all the way around. So I'm going to see if I can do it from here. So this should be 14 and a half and I want to do two centimeters. This was one and a half. It's going to be two centimeters. Two centimeters. So we're only preparing these. We're not going to fit them yet. one one side. I'm going to use those later. Right, quick tidy up. Now we're going to look at decorating this because on the front we're going to put a piece of acetate. Now this is 14 and a half centimeters square and that's going to go on the front like that and I've put my tape on already so that I can see where it is when I put it down on the table. Okay, so before I put that on, we need to decorate inside. 
So I had a fee, yes, um, I fancied, I think, the uh, bear with the log. Right, so these are already die cut. I don't want the one with the background. So I'm going to pop this one out. And my bear with the log, I am going to have towards the back there. So I'm going to put him up a little bit higher. Yeah, so that's going to look like a bush behind because we're going to cover this bit here. Okay, so I'm going to take out some little flowers on that one. There's um, the little raccoon and some, some rocks. I don't know whether we'll use that. Let's have a look what's on this one. Um, I can use some of those. And use some of those. Another little mushroom there. I'm trying to think of how it's going to look. So let's have a look else we've got. I've got some oddments there. I've got another bear. Oh, I've got some nice um, bits that will do my foreground. And I think I'm going to have this bear that's just looking behind him. There we go. I think we've got plenty now. Oh, I need something here. prepared to change your mind. Right, so I'm going to put some toadstools. Just under there to bring that down. I'm going to have this one here and he's going to be sat on there. He's different from that there. But I'm only putting glue down this one edge because I want him to stand out. When we put it up there, I want him to be coming into the picture. Okay. Right. Then we're going to come to this bit. Am I going to put um, anything on there? Can't have him upside down. Um, I think I can have him on that bit. So again, only a small amount of glue to fix him in place. There we go. So that's going to be my scene as it pops out. Right, once you've finished decorating, you can then put your acetate. So I'm going to line up one side. Into there. Okay. Then I'm going to flatten my card, reveal this side, and let it go down so that it just joins onto this piece. It doesn't matter 
this extra bit if you've got a tiny bit um, not covered because that is what's going to hold your card together. Use a nice firm acetate. Right, now we're going to take these side pieces check it's the right way up and we're fitting that into place there look how it's coming together the right way up there so there's the start of our front of our card so this acetate is now holding it together and I've got these tiny bits here which I'm going to stick to the acetate I'm going to come in on that bit. I've got a little bunch of flowers which is going to start this side. Layer these across because you want a nice border and I've got one more toadstool here. I could go on and put more on but I'm not going to. There. Right, so if I put my hand underneath, underneath we've now got a nice border going across the bottom and we've got the bears into there and when we stand it up we have three depths of the picture. Okay, so a really pretty easy card. Now, I did promise you a look at another one, but let's bring these in. This one really was started off with just pretty papers. Um, and then I decided that I had got some dark flowers um, to add. But I'd have been quite happy leaving this with just these pretty papers, to be honest, and perhaps a greeting in the back. You can put greetings onto the acetate so the greeting is suspended and the pretty papers behind. Okay. This one I just used oddments, a bit of glue there. Um, this one I used dark papers, a bit of oddments and a little character holding the seed packets. So that would do a lady or a man. Okay, but I'm going to bring you in another one. It's Father's Day this weekend. Um, and here we have a shed. So I've done this in wood papers. Okay, but I've added an extra bit. If I move this back, this would be the same design as all these, so it would be an open shed. But what I've done is I've used another six inch square card and I've cut two panels with an extra piece on the back. And I've just used that as two doors, so nobody will see where this is fixed. But now we've got an extra layer to our card. So you open the doors and here we've got all the different layers. I've been able to put paper on the back of this as well so I can decorate the back of the doors. We've got the acetate going across the front. We've got a pair of welly boots halfway back. And then in here, I can push those back. I've just used a rectangle of dark card and put some 
pieces of the wood across to make drawers and just a piece of dark card to make like a notice board to hang on tools and things. So, okay, easy adaptation of the card to take it a bit further. Now, it, there's so many things. It could be a kitchen, um, it could be a craft room. Oh, there's hundreds of different combinations. So have a play and see where it leads you. God bless you all.